The first thing I'm going to want to do in drawing the bottle at the center of this still life is to find its proportions, its width compared to its height. So what I'm going to do is using the sighting technique, I'm going to extend my arm comfortably so my arm is fully out and extended, my elbows locked, and I'm going to close one eye so that objects flatten out. And with one eye closed, I am going to line up the left edge of the pencil to the left edge of the widest part of the bottle and then slowly move my thumb so I have a unit of measure. So that area where the pencil is exposed is the width of the bottle. Now what I'm going to do is with my eye still closed and my arm extended, my elbow still locked, I'm keeping my thumb on the pencil, turning it vertically, and then compare that width to the height of that bottle. And what I can see is it lines up nicely with the divisions that are in it. So I have one, two, three, four more or less perfect units of measure that tell me that that bottle has a, has a relative uh, proportion of about four to one. So now when I come over to my paper and I want to start drawing that bottle, what the first thing I'll do is I will draw a just a straight line to indicate where on the page the bottle is going to exist. And I'm going to make a small mark at the bottom to indicate where the bottom is and at the top to where the maximum extent of the bottle is. So with a, a proportion of four to one, I'm just going to, um, using uh, just eyeballing it, not measuring it literally, I'm gonna find sort of the middle point and then divide that other half into another half point and then the same here. So I now have four evenly spaced sections. And I also know that, that these widths, remembering are these sections here are the width of that bottle. So I now know that this here is the width of that bottle. So what I'm going to do is make some quick marks that can be adjusted later and see if they line up with where I drew these widths on here. Good. So now what I'm going to do is just lightly draw a, a rough light pencil line up and I know that it's not going to be um, it's going to taper off at the top so the other thing I've noticed is we'll need to find out where the bottle starts to taper in to get the rounded top so I'll come back over and again I'll quickly find my width on the bottle by lining up the uh, left side of the bottle and my thumb and when I hold that up to the top of the bottle I can see that the, um, the there's about one uh, width measure to the point where that bottle starts to really curve down so when I come back over I have a nice sort of already uh, nicely indicated mark of where it's going to curve so what I'm going to do and is I'm going to start to make those lines curve up here. And I know then it's going to bring us up to the top. That's gonna to give us about where the, where the lid of that bottle would be. So from this point, I would go in and start refining this drawing and getting the small details uh, worked in.